Hey guys, welcome to Let's Get Personal. So as promised, I told you I would give my co-parenting tips this week. So let's get started. The first one, don't talk about one another in front of the kids. I know there are times as parents when we get into an argument and sometimes it escalates and um, you end up saying something about the other parent and the child or children hear you, that is not okay. You never wanna talk about the mother or the father in front of the kids. At the end of the day, that is their parent and they deserve to love their parent and their parent deserves to love them without any interference from the other parent. Don't have adult conversations in front of the kids. I get it, we all have had a disagreement, an argument, whatever you wanna call it, with the parent, other parent of our child or children. If at all possible, you can refrain from having those conversations when your child or children are around, and saying that you are in a room and the child can't hear you is not good enough, because nine times out of 10, the child does hear you, and that sticks with them so do not have adult conversations in front of your child or children you can wait um, until a later time to discuss whatever it is you need to discuss and that is the mature way to handle things when in each other's presence speak you are teaching your child or children how to interact with another adult when things don't work out they are watching be mindful i am that has happened to me most of these have I've either seen with my own eyes or have happened to me. This one in particular has happened to me. I remember it. And this is not an attempt to bash their father could I, because I would never do that. Um, but I'm gonna give you the instance just because I say and tell you guys I will be I'm completely transparent. We were at a football game for one of my kids and my entire family's there um, and their dad and his wife and um, son come into the stands. Now he speaks to everybody. When I say speaks, he gives everybody a hug, how you doing, and gazes right over me. And my other two kids are in the stands. That was completely wrong of him. It teaches our kids that A, we're not on the same page and why aren't you speaking to my mother? It is very simple to say, hi, hello, how you doing, whatever. And how I felt, my, <laughs> what was going on through my head is, how dare you walk into our son's game, which I am at every single weekend and take care of our kids every single day because we live in two separate states and you have the nerve not to speak to me. So I then immediately got an attitude, which is again, wrong, I should have, waited and handled that at a later time and after the game that is not the later time because that is when i uh, my mom went and said something to him that was not the appropriate time either that is something that he and i should have talked about later on and now we have moved past it we've learned from it but that did happen to me um be on the same page, never mom against dad, dad against mom. It's always mom and dad working together for the benefit of the child or children. It is imperative. If you, are, if you guys are working together, then the child cannot use one parent against the other. I grew up in a two parent household, but I did understand if my mom told me no, I would then go ask my dad. And nine times out of 10, he would get it for me and I soon quickly realized that my parents weren't on the same page. And if one of the biggest things I think that happens in co-parenting is um, punishment. What does that look like? And if you're in trouble at mom's house, I think it's appropriate to communicate that with you know the dad and let them know. And so that way both parents are on the same page and can talk to the child or children about the behavior. Um, be supportive. It is vital to your child or children's well-being that both parents are supportive of one another. One does not work without the other. Um, I talked about being an example of how a relationship should be after you guys don't work out. Keep your commitments, and if you can't, make sure to relay that to the other parent. That way, again, everybody is on the same page and um, you guys can then relay it to the child or children. 
this one happened to me. Don't ask your kids to keep secrets from the other parent that puts the, uh, puts the children in the middle and it's uncomfortable for them. Um, I remember having a conversation with my oldest a few years ago about um, good secrets and bad secrets and what does that look like and if somebody does ask you uh, to keep a secret, um, it's probably best to go and tell an adult. Well, then he looked at me um, and got scared and said, well, my dad asked me to keep a secret from you. And again, we have learned from that. We've grown past that. We've talked to the kids about that. Um, and it's just not right to have kids hold on to heavy information. And it's when something so simple could be done as communicating with the other parent. Don't forward screenshots of adult conversations to the child or children. They don't need to know what is going on between the two parents. What they should see is two parents getting along for their benefit. I get it, we all have our disagreements, we all have you know small arguments here and there from time to time, but it's imperative that the kids don't need to know that. You can explain to kids that mom and dad are going through you know situations and we're trying to resolve it but they don't need to know the fine details of what you guys are arguing about the last one is kids should have access to speak to either parent at all times um you know from early on when we moved here my kids all had cell phones so there was maybe less than one handful of times where I had to take my kid's cell phone because of them doing something that they weren't supposed to. And when that happened, I contacted their father and let them know, let him know, hey, the boys are in trouble and this is why, and I have their phone, and if you need to get in contact with them for however many days, you know, have, um, call my phone. So that way they don't feel like they are being um, punished and not able to talk to the other parent. They should have access to talk to both parents at all times, no matter what. Both parents are parents to the children and that is their right. I think that's it. If you guys have any more that you've gone through or you wanna share with me and I can add those to the list, um, I'd be happy to. Um, again, this is all, the reason why I'm doing this is to shed light on situations that we as parents go through when we are trying to co-parent um, and I want to help somebody and I want to help you guys um, navigate that journey and make it as seamless as possible. So continue to send in questions and we will see you guys back next week.